actually introduce what we're going to make today. I'm just going to address the hair color. Why not? It is purple into this pinkish red color. Very nice. And of course I filmed the process. That video will be coming out on Thursday so be sure to subscribe if you are interested in seeing that because so, then you don't miss the video. But anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute easy bow necklace. Da, 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 da. Obviously you don't have to use it as a necklace if you don't want to. This bow is ideal for beginners to make. It uses very simple techniques um, that I walk you through. So you'll be able to do it even if you've never picked up a hook before. It is super simple. And like I said, you don't have to make it into a necklace. You can wear it as a hair clip. You can have it as a brooch. You could sew it onto something else as a bit of a plique. The options are up to you. I just decided to make a cute little necklace because apparently that's what I do with things I crochet now. The written out pattern can be found in the description box of this video. I have written it both in English terminology and um, American terminology, so both UK and US terminology, and also I've written it out in full so you can know what is happening. If you can't read normal crochet patterns, you should be able to read this. But yes, that's enough waffling from me. Let's just get on with the video, shall we? So to make these really cute bow necklaces, you are going to need some double knit yarn. You are going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You will need a tapestry needle of some form to sew in the ends. Scissors, obviously. And then if you want to turn this bow into a necklace, you're going to need a necklace chain. And I'm using six millimeter uh, jump rings and then also pliers to open the jump rings. So to start with, I'm going to take my yarn, leave a tail of around 10-ish centimeters or so, and I'm going to make a slip knot. Then I'm going to chain 21. And this is just the, the base of the, uh, of the bow. To chain, you simply yarn over your hook and then pull through the loop. Once you've chained 21, you are going to go into the second chain from the hook. So this one here is the first chain, this is the second chain, so just insert into the middle of the chain, yarn over your hook, pull through that first loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. This is a UK double crochet or a US single crochet and you are going to do that all the way across 20 stitches because we went in the second chain from the hook so we're only doing 20 uh, double crochet and my yarn just fell on the floor well we're gonna deal with it try to keep the tension as even as possible um, if this is your first time crocheting it might take a little bit of practice but it'll be worth it in the end Slow and steady wins the race. Then at the last stitch, or once you've done your last stitch, you're going to chain one, so yarn over, pull through like we did in the beginning, turn your work around, so now you've got the back facing you, and you are now going to skip the chain here and insert your hook into the first stitch, and then you're going to double crochet, or US single crochet, the whole way along this, uh, this way as well. Then, once again, 
chain one, crochet back, chain one, blah, 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 for a total of six rows. So I've already done one, and now I'm going to be doing five more for a total of six rows. So I'm just doing my last stitch on row six and it should look a little something like this and then you're just going to trim off a tail of yeah, let's say a meter or so. Um, you can always trim off if you have extra and then yarn over pull through to finish off. Then you are going to take your tapestry needle, move your hook, you don't need him anymore and you're going to thread that needle then you are going to fold this piece in half bringing these two edges together and then you're going to sew them together using something called a whip stitch which um, you basically go into the very edge of the stitches kind of like over and over so I've just come out of this one and instead of going back through and going over the top now, this is usually what's used to sew up crochet and such because um, it keeps uh, stuffing and that fun stuff in if you're making amigurumi but I'm not not red now anyway and just keep sewing over and over all the way up the side here try not to go too far down into this try to keep it on the very very edge of your work but it doesn't matter if you don't because you're going to cover it up anyway so it doesn't have to be the neatest thing you've ever done and then just unthread the needle leave that thread hanging for the time being and then thread your tail that was the other end and I just like to go back through the opposite side so just through here a little bit once again there's probably a better way to sew up your crochet but I don't know it or if I do then it's never affected me oh I've got fluff on my uh, stuck to my arm there we go fixed but that's not holding anything together so that's fine trim off any excess Careful not to cut any of your stitches. And this is still the long tail end that we just sewed up the side with. You're going to turn this loop inside out. And then you're going to fold it in half, but you're going to fold it so the seam is in the center. And I'm sorry if you can hear those cars beeping somebody has obviously won the football but I don't know who was playing filming this on Friday but whoever that won they're very happy about it um, yes so the seam is in the middle then you're going to take your needle and go up through here then you're going to do a long running stitch so I'm going to go in through here I think yeah that'll do once again there's no mathematical measurements and then up through here and 
and then in through the very top. This is just to gather it a little bit. So you've got your long running stitch, then you're just going to pull that. Okay, it's a little gather. And then, with the remainder of your yarn, you are just going to pull quite tightly and wrap it round. Um, the only trick here is that you want to make both sides of your bow even. You need to work out which is the front and which is the back. So if you're crossing yarn over, you're not crossing it over in the front, um, just to keep it nice and tidy. I think that'll do. And then you see in the back because I've got all these crossovers and I don't want that in the front. You'll see? And then you're going to take your needle and once again just sew through your crochet. Um, finish off any thread that you have remaining on here. Sew through all the stitches backwards and forwards. Make sure it doesn't come undone. Um, yeah. Wonderful, that'll do. And then trim off the excess. Then you can move that to one side. So there is the basic little bow done. What you can do is you can sew this onto anything that you want to, have it as a cute little applique. You could add a brooch to the back of it if you want to, a brooch back to it and wear it as a little brooch or a hair clip. I want to turn it into a necklace because that's what I do. So, got my pliers, got my jump rings. I think it would be better if I had larger jump rings, but I don't happen to have any at the minute. So, what you can do is you can simply pop the chain underneath where you've wrapped around, but I want to hang it by its corners. So, I'm going to try to go through one of the edge stitches and make sure my necklace is the right way around, which it is. And pop that on. And then twist it closed. It, they're super easy to move if you happen to clip it in the wrong place, which I think I have. Oh no, I'm okay. Um, if you don't have two sets of pliers, that's okay. You can use tweezers if they've got a nice flat end to them. That also works. Um, if you've got strong nails, you can use your nails. I don't, and I don't really want to break them. So I use two sets of pliers because you want to twist your jump rings apart. You don't want to pull them apart. If you pull them apart, it's difficult to get them back closed in a nice way. Whereas if you twist them, it's much easier. Like so. And there is your necklace complete. Now it's ready to put for you to put around your neck and wear with pride. And when everyone asks you where you got your cute little necklace from, you'll be able to sassily say, well, actually, I made it. So now I know just how easy it is to make this bow necklace of your very own. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to let me know. Leave me a comment down below and feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you don't have time to leave me a comment. Both are appreciated. And if you want to see more videos like this, come from me. I post a new craft tutorial every Sunday and then I post bonus videos in the week as well. This week's bonus video, and you only got one, I'm sorry about that, but it was a crafty chat. A crafty chat is when I sit and I craft and I chat to you. It happens once a month. I catch you up on what's been happening. So feel free to click the I in the corner if that is something you're interested in watching. If you decide to recreate anything using one of my tutorials, I want to see a picture of it. Let's be honest. So feel free to post a picture on social media. All of my social media links can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to tag your picture with hashtag the corner of craft so I can see how amazing and talented you all are. Finally, if you really enjoy my videos and you want to support me further than just watching them, I do also have a Patreon page and a link to that can be found in the description box below so feel free to click on over there for some exclusive content. And with all that being said, thank you so much once again for watching and I shall see you very soon in Tuesday's video. Bye. have a beading tutorial for you if you are new to the corner of craft as many of you are um, I like to indulge in a hobby called bead weaving which involves sewing beads together it's very therapeutic and much enjoyed